Okay, welcome to day 21 of 100 days of code in IoT challenge. Today, I'm gonna show you how to upload a file from your computer to ESP8266. Let's get started. I've got my Visual Studio Code opened. All the required extensions already installed. Um, actually, the most important one is the platform IO because that allows me to upload the sketches to ESP8266 and that's actually the essential extension to be able to upload files from computer to ESP8266 to the device's flash memory. So yeah, um, if you would like to see an instructions how to install required extensions, I recommend going to the first video of this 100 days of code in IoT challenge, or if you just want to do it yourself and you just need a uh, links, you can find them in the description of the video. But yeah, now first step of today's challenge, which is uploading the file, is going to be creating a new project. So I'm gonna go to quick access of platform IO and open. It's gonna open a new tab for me. And then new project. I'm gonna call it FS upload. Bolt that we are interested in and you want to set this value to is not MCU 1.0, framework stays Arduino, location stays default in my case. So we have our project created. The platform io.ini file should be opened automatically. However, if it hasn't been, then it's just a matter of, you know, clicking on the platform.ini. Okay, the first setting that I need to set is the monitor speed. We're gonna use the serial monitor today. So that needs to be set and I can actually open the main.cpp straight away and in a setup, initialize the serial communication by calling the begin method with this value that we set for the monitor speed. And also a good idea is to set a delay at the beginning for five seconds. So the IDE will be able to catch up with the serial communication coming from the device. So we've got this done. Okay, and now there is another setting that we need to set. And this is because we're gonna be dealing with the file system, but not the legacy one, the SPIFs, which is a default one on platform IO due to the compatibility, backwards compatibility reasons. We're gonna use littlefs instead. And to use littlefs, you need to set this setting, which is board build.file system equals littlefs. That's gonna make our board using that file system instead of SPIFs, the legacy one, right? So having this configured, what I can do is to upload the file, which is pretty straightforward with uh, platform IO, VS Code IDE, because there is a command built in already that I can use. However, first step is to create a data directory. It is important that this directory needs to be called data. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. Whatever you put in data is gonna be uploaded to the board. So as for an example, I'm just gonna create an example file. I'm just gonna call it index.html. And that's just gonna be a simple empty HTML document with the body and a he heading in the body with a text hello from IOT. Why this is HTML? I'm gonna explain later. For now, let's just stick to it. Let's treat it as a text because that's what we're gonna see in the serial monitor when we will be reading from it. Okay, and now because we called it index HTML, we know the file name. So I can actually, I can copy paste the code to read from this file once it's uploaded. But I'm not gonna write it from scratch because I've already done it. And that was video 18. And I have this example here already opened and I'm just gonna copy paste it 
so this is actually uh, to handle bigger fires as well but because I'm gonna be dealing with the bigger fires as well in the next example I'm just gonna use this one so it can work with both examples right so that's what I'm gonna paste but two more things that I have to do one is to include little fs and another one is to define file name for index.html, right? It doesn't upload data directory. It treats data as the root directory. So now we're basically um, accessing the root directory. Another thing that is worth mentioning, I think, is uh, the fact that you can actually put a, a data a directory structure in there, right? So it doesn't have to be a single file. It can be multiple files, multiple folders and uh, they can be nested and this is all going to be reflected on the board and with little fs especially this is going to work well right so if i put um if, for example if i put here uh, another folder let's let's call it like um a, a directory d1 directory or something like that then i could access it by doing something like that right but because we are in the root directory, I can just do file name index.html. Okay. Um, one more thing is to handle the error if the file could not be opened for reading. And then if this wasn't the case, then we're going to read from the file and close it. So that's essentially it for reading from the file. Okay, so we already have the code to display the file contents in the serial monitor. And um, you know what? I'm actually going to deploy this first. So we should see there is nothing in the bold memory at the moment. Okay, so that's deployed. Let me connect to the serial monitor. And as we can see, could not could not be opened for reading actually i should put something like could not open could not open file for reading but anyway but yeah the file doesn't exist at the moment right and to upload the file we just need to go to the platform io quick access and then in the folder node mcu v2 platform What we need to do is to press on upload file system image. This is it. It's going to pick up all the files, all the directories in the data directory and upload it to the board. And yeah, basically that was quick. If the file is, if the file was bigger, that would have been um, a longer operation, right? Depends on the size of the file, the, the time of uploading depends on the si size of the file. Okay, so let me connect to the serial monitor now and I'm gonna pre press reset and after five seconds we should see the content contents of the file. Okay, that's it. You see? So yeah, that works. We see the contents of the file and yeah, this is essentially how you deploy the file. The simplest example though. Because there is one thing I need to mention, I need to talk about in regards to the size of the files in total, right? Because, yeah, it can be single file, it can be multiple files, but, you know, the point is of the total size of all the files that you put in the data directory. With the default setting, this can be around one megabyte. I've done a few tests on my own. And for the default settings, it's just one megabyte. I don't know why, to be honest. I checked the documentation on, on the platform IO ESP8266. If you go there, um, I put the link in the description. If you are interested and you want to check yourself. For the flash mode, uh, sorry, that's not flash mode. That's uh, for the flash size. For the flash size, you can actually go to the GitHub here and there is a list of uh, available 
configurations, all, all of those with 4M are the ones for the our model of the board, which is the ESP8266, um, the Node MCU, um, ESP12E or 12F. And let me show you the default one. So if you don't set anything, if you don't set this value, board build LD script in the platform io.ini, that is going to be the default one. And here, if you have a look how the memory is allocated, the memory allocated for spiffs, this is the name for the file system, is zero. But I was still able to upload file. So I'm not sure if that memory is shared with the sketch or it's something else. But yeah, my, my tests essentially told me that that can be, it's around one megabyte. If you exceed one megabyte, then um, there, is a, there is a message um, I'm going to show you in a second, uh, saying that, you know, the, 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 the file system is full. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, what I'm going to do in a second as well is to uh, change the, the setting to three megabytes. So we'll be able to, to upload bigger files. Okay. And uh, speaking of bigger files, I have prepared those, these two files. I'm actually more interested in the uh, two megabyte one. So two megabyte file, it's just a, a text file with um, some, I can show you actually, it's just a text file with some numbers, but you know, the point is it has two megabytes and I'm just going to drag and drop it into the data folder, right? And I'm going to show you with the default configuration an attempt to upload this to the board. Okay. Obviously it failed. It failed because there is no more free space with this configuration. Okay. So if you end up with bigger file than one megabyte, or you have multiple files that, 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 you know, have in total more than one megabyte and uh, you still want to upload them again, pretty straightforward is this setting in the platform io.ini file. So let me, let me go back to it. It's this setting, board build.ld script. And that needs to be set for this one. Set to this one, which is three megabytes, right? With this configuration, when I press upload file system image now, that is going to upload this two megabyte file as well as the index.html. In the meantime, I'm going to modify this code to show you that the file has been uploaded successfully. But we need to wait for this process to finish until, and then I upload the sketch and we can see if the file is uploaded. So let's, let's, let's speed it up a little bit. Okay. So the file uploaded and now I'm going to deploy the sketch. Yeah, that needs to recompile because I changed the settings in the platform io.ini file. And we should see a bunch of numbers from this file in a few seconds. Let me connect to the serial monitor. And yeah, that's what we're getting, right? It's just a bunch of numbers. But essentially that, that just proves that the upload is working. One more thing I could do to show you that this memory is persistent is to disconnect the board from USB and connect it back and then connect to the serial monitor and we should see the contents of the file in a second again. Yeah. So we got it. Let me just terminate it because my fan in the, in my laptop is spinning because of that. Cool. So yeah, this is essentially how you upload the files. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how to create a web server on ESP8266 and serve these files, you know, statically. So that's why index.html file 
was one of the the files I uploaded to the board, right? Because tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing more of this, right? Uploading HTML files, maybe CSS as well, and then serve them statically using ESP8266 server class. If you like my content and you want to stay up to date with my channel, I suggest hitting the subscribe button so you will get notified as soon as I upload the next video. That is going to happen tomorrow. Thanks for watching and cheers, bye.